Well, I spent almost 10 years in foster care, and during that time, I had 14 different foster homes. Many of them were extremely abusive. My brother was actually almost killed in one home. So I had a really awful um, childhood, and so I was one of the lucky ones that eventually was adopted. So after I was adopted, I really wanted to dedicate the rest of my life to ensuring that kids don't have to go through the kinds of things that I did. So I wrote an essay contest for the New York Times Magazine, and they asked you to write about a day that was you know, really life-changing or huge and I wrote about my adoption day and how it wasn't this rainbows and sunshine kind of occasion. It was actually really terrifying because I had seen kids be unadopted. So I wrote this essay called Three Little Words and I happened to win first place. And uh, from that, the essay was published in the magazine. And from that, I had publishers contacting me interested in hearing my full story. It took me almost five years to write, but it came out when I graduated from college. And I've been able to sort of tour and speak and um, be on the road since. So it was just this amazing chance and the book's actually being made into a movie now. So that's gonna be even more exciting. Having teachers and educators can really, I mean, those are the people that can change lives. And I think education for me did just that. It gave me something to focus on, something to fuel my energies into. I remember my fourth grade teacher gave me my very first book, which was Anne of Green Gables. And um, the gift of a book for a little foster kid who didn't own anything, didn't have anyone to care about them, it was huge. And it was definitely a point in my life where I was totally changed. I think something that keeps me really motivated is, first of all, I feel incredibly lucky. Even though my job sort of requires me to reflect on the darker times in my life, I'm not the only one. And there are so many other kids that are going through the exact same things. There are so many other policies that need to be changed, and people really need to hear what's going on. And I feel lucky that I can sort of be that vehicle for communication and allow, um, allow everyone to see what a foster kid or an adopted kid really looks like and what they can achieve. My name is Ashley, and my work is touching lives.